For the longest time, I've shied away from reviewing series on TV. And the main reason is because I don't watch TV so much. But recently, my family started watching this series from African Magic called Riona. And I have always sat outside the fence just watching. <laughs> I don't know how people sit outside the fence. Do they sit here? Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I joined them to watch the recap of episode one and boom, I was hooked. My throat was hooked. <laughs> It was hooked. Riona is a story set in the 12th century Benin. This was when people lived in hot houses, the king could marry at will, and evil forests were still a thing. There's literally no difference between then and now. <laughs> From episode 1, you realize this was going to be a roller coaster with the engineer forgetting to tie your seatbelt. It first starts off nice with a young girl playing with sand, and all you can say is, uh, to her, this is the new PS5 right now. Uh. Then this man comes and we are like, oh, is that a dad? Oh, is a warrior? I think having a meeting in his house. That was not a dad. That was not her dad, guys. I mean, that was not her dad. So for the local drama to explain what happened, you need to know some characters. This is the king of Oyemeri. His name is Ofotonku. Ofotonku. My goodness. <laughs> This name is going to be hard to pronounce. See, I'll just call him my king. But they establish him as this strong man and they do this in a subtle way. He sees blood dripping on his hand, then he gets teleported to this forest where he's giving this sword to fight and all I could think of was that if this was me, I would have peed on my bed a long time ago. He still even had the courage to fight back. Then he wakes up like me, jumps out with the same speed I would have used to quickly hide my bed shit. Because, <laughs> man, that thing will be wet. <laughs> but as a king, his biggest issue at this point is obviously not his people, but maintaining his throne. And how do people in the olden days maintain their throne? You got it right. You are the back wearing that black shirt that has the word subscribe written on it and the post notification turned on. It's me hyping. I'm happy to subscribe. <laughs> but you got it right. He has to have a male child. And a male child he must have by force. He has one wife. Oh, no, sorry. He has two wives. And I guess that's all. To be honest, this show is not... Nope. Three wives. Four wives. Five wives. Six wives. I hope those girls at the back are their maids. Because if they are not, this guy is the strongest man I know. He is my role model. So this is Idolo, the first wife. She has a child for him, but a daughter. And that won't work. Not in this misogynistic era. <laughs> And this is Mofe, his new fish. If you just look down, down, yeah, yeah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant and she's likely to be a male child. So you already know, the jealousy is about to be tight. Tight! But when Mofe scared for her life and her baby, obviously, the voodoo chick reassures them that the baby is a boy. And as they were excited about them finally having a male child, the voodoo chick had this face of, oh, oh, something is wrong. And yes, I call her Voodoo Chick because I forgot her name. I actually remember her name. It's just long and I don't want to blunder any other name. <laughs> but after she contemplated on if she should tell the king what she has seen, she finally decides to tell everyone that the dark moon is coming. And this only means that the king will die in the hands of the child born on the dark moon day. It, day, yeah, day on that Monday, yeah. And with her saying this, this only explained what happened at the beginning of the episode and that is how the show ended. But wait, <laughs> it doesn't end there. The local drama is dense in its world development. They mentioned so many names of things that only made me believe this was the show telling us you don't actually have to know it yet. You are watching me for a very long time. Take for instance the Omojaja who are the wealthiest and also known as the highborn who rule over the Iriale which can be known as the locals. I can't believe I pronounced that name well. Even if I did not, I don't care. <laughs> the Omojaja are ruthless and they only care about themselves to the point that they will flog you. Even if you are pregnant, they will flog you. <laughs> and by doing this, this only builds this rebellious group hoping to free their people from the hands of this wicked Mojaja. So I'm looking forward to watching more episodes of this local drama. It is available every day at 8pm on Africa Magic channel 151. So yeah, go and watch it <laughs> and you will get a PS5, the sound edition. <laughs>